Hi there everyone and today I also have one another a Masi chess game this time by one of our chess heroes Bobby Fischer and Fischer had the white pieces and his opponent was the Hungarian chess champion Peter Deli, international chess master Peter Deli uh, from Hungary. He was I believe the Hungarian chess champion from 1969 and this is a, a pretty fun chess game and the pun for this chess game is also uh, quite creative. It's don't deli deli. <laughs> it's as if it is uh, saying don't linger, I believe. Uh, okay, so let's see what happened. This is from a chess tournament from 1967, which Bobby Fischer won this tournament very easily. Uh, almost There was almost for about... 20 chess players competing in this tournament. So let's see what happened in this very exciting and a must-see chess game. So Fischer starts the game with e4 and we have c5. The Sicilian defense, knight to f3 and uh, we have the open Sicilian, knight to f6, knight to c3. And then this is Sozin variation of the Sicilian defense, also known as the Fischer variation. Because Bobby Fischer played this many times in his chess career, he liked to place his bishop on c4 and then he, most of the time, he played bishop to b3. So Fischer saws in attack of the Sicilian defense. And then e6 and this is the Schwenningen variation of the Sozin Sicilian. Bishop goes back, as I said, so a6, f4, queen to a5 and Bobby Fischer castled, exchanging the knights. And then d5, of course, Fischer was not born yesterday. In this position, uh, the Hungarian champion is threatening to play bishop to c5, which is going to pin the queen to the king. So Bobby Fischer played bishop to e3, and then knight takes, knight takes, pawn takes. And you can see that black has doubled pawn structure, but Bobby Fischer is not capturing the pawn and equalizing the material. Fischer is a pawn down, he played a stronger move for improving his position. He played f5. It looks harmless, but actually this move is a very annoying move for black. So we have queen to b4, and basically black wants to exchange the queens. And let's see what happens if capturing, for example, then we have check, and this is actually a very difficult position because you can't actually block and if blocking then we have check and where is the king queen if bishop to e6 then bishop to b3 and the queen is also out of the play as you can see threatening to take the bishop this is a very difficult position for black which is needless to say as you can see so uh, we have f5 by bobby fisher queen to b4 and then f takes on e6 in between move and bishop takes on e6, this is a must for black. Uh, because in this position, if capturing the queen, then in between move, e takes on f7, that's check. After moving the king, we can capture the queen and white is winning. You can see this pass pawn is also a problem for black. And also this pawn is going to fall, this is easily winning for white in this position. So we have f takes on e6, bishop takes on e6, Bobby Fischer captured the bishop, f takes on e6, not capturing the queen, and it is white to move. Can you guess what Bobby Fischer played here? Actually, Bobby Fischer has a very nice trick up in his sleeve. So if I give you a few seconds, can you guess the absolutely very beautiful move played by Bobby Fischer, and that was absolutely a bone crushing and a very strong move so let me give you a few seconds and try to guess the next move of white if you haven't seen this chess game before can you guess that next move for white let me give you a few seconds uh, you don't have to hurry you can always pause the video and try to find the winning move white has a winning move right now
Okay, so it is like the move. I hope you have seen Rook takes an absolute bone crusher by Bobby Fischer. Rook takes on f8. And Mr. Daly played queen takes on f8. Don't dilly dill. <laughs> uh, if king takes, then queen takes queen, that's check. Of course. Which is very obvious. Then after rook takes on f8, we have queen takes on f8. But what was Bobby Fischer's idea? Black still haven't castled. And black has the exchange. Also black is a pawn up. And what was Bobby Fischer's idea? Did you see white's next move? White has won another very strong move. Okay, let me give you a few more seconds. Queen to a4 by Bobby Fischer. And believe it or not, after this move, black resigned. There is nothing that black can do in this horrible, awful situation. It's just all over. Because you can't, actually, you can't easily move the king. Where is the king going? Let's check out. If king to e7, then bishop to c5 is going to be a nasty skewer. And if king to f7, then we have rook to f1, which is also going to be a nasty skewer and losing the queen. And if king goes to d8, then rook to d1, king to c8, queen to c4, king to b8, rook to d7. And how on earth are you going to defend check and then checkmate? <laughs> there is no defense. If defending with the queen, can you see what white can play? You have to see this because if you can't, you need to play checkers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, of course, bishop to f4. I mean, it's very simple. And obviously, you don't want to block with the queen. So if moving the king, then check and then mate the pawn is pinned. You can't even block interpose with the pawn. So, obviously, queen to a4 was very strong. And moving the king is not possible. How about blocking with pushing the pawn? Then, apparently, queen takes on e4 is very strong, both attacking the rook and also attacking the pawn, forking. And let's say if defending the rook like this, then we have check. And this is going to end very simple. Rook to d1, only defense and getting checkmated. There is no sensible defense. In here, you can see there is no defense. And queen takes on e4. And let's say if rook to d8, then check. And rook is pinned, so defending with the queen. And after rook lift, this is Zugzubank. How to defend bishop to c5. You can't move the king. You can't move the rook. It's all over. So let's say h6 and then bishop to c5. And if defending the queen then the bishop is controlling this dark diagonal, then check and then mate. There is no defense. Amazing. What an amazing chess game by Bobby Fischer. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time with more instructive, amazing chess games. So this was Bobby Fischer's chess game from 1967 and in 1972 he became the world chess champion by defeating Boris Spassky. So I hope in the future we can also check out some Bobby Fischer chess games against Boris Spassky, his rival. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you next time with more interactive games. Take care and bye-bye.